Omnisphere has a huge library and its browsers are based around the idea of categories and then searchable attributes that are called tags. And I say browsers in plural because there are two. There's the mini browser on the side here, which we're going to look at, and there's the full browser, which we touched on briefly in the last video. Now, the mini browser here lets you browse sounds without switching pages. So no matter what page you're on here, you're always going to have the browser available on the left. And we can use it for browsing either patches or multis. When we're on one of these part pages, we're going to be viewing and searching and displaying patches. And when we're on either the multi or the system page, you'll see it switched here and we're showing multis now versus the patches that are loaded into parts. Now, the header provides access to the full browser here with this plus button. So we can always jump to it like that and close box and we're back there. Now, it also provides access to some of the other features like sound lock, which we'll explore. It's a way of locking in specific parameters of one patch as we're switching to another. Now, we also have the directory category here where we can have sub searches for these aspects of the library. And we also have the search field here where we can search by name or keyword. And we also have attribute-based browsing or sound match-based browsing. Now, sound match is a way of searching for sounds that are similar to ones that you already have loaded in. And this is kind of the new Omnisphere 2.0 way of searching. And attributes are a means of searching based on different tags. And we have the category field to start with. And we can control click and switch between that and project. And we'll talk about project in another video. And then we have three attributes and we can choose between the attributes by control clicking and they're each filters. So we can choose which attributes we want to use to filter by. So let's say, for example, I'm going to type in here, guitar. I'm going to get a results list down here of all the guitar sounds and I can scroll, of course. And then I can further filter by using, in this case, genre. There's old school, for example, or I can go to type and filter based on that or even version. And again, you can control click and customize which filters are going to be showing up there. So let's say I'm going to choose this one. I'm going to click it and we load it in. We see on the main page here in the notes view, we have an image and some info on it. And we can switch to layers and see the layers that are used. And we can play the sound, of course. So the idea with the mini browser here is that we search and we can change the attributes here and filter our search that way. Now, if I want to use sound match, I'm going to go to sound match mode. And let's say I want to search for sounds that are similar to this, to electric Mabira. I'm going to go match current selection. And now it's searching and returning a results list to me based on sounds that are similar to this. So it's great if you want to try and find variations. Maybe you found a sound that's pretty good, but not exactly right. This will automatically search through all the tags and bring up the results based on tags matching what's loaded in here. So very powerful. Attribute-based searching, the traditional way, or sound match. Now, we have a footer here as well. We can sort the results here either alphabetically, and we can do it in reverse alphabetical order, and we can do it based on ratings. There's a way of assigning favorites. We'll look at that. And also, if there's different users, we can sort that way. We have a shuffle mode, which is actually more useful than you might think. It's such a huge library that's available in Omnisphere that you sometimes end up in a situation when you're working alphabetically where you see the same results at the top of the list that you're viewing. And shuffle will just randomize it and bring up options that are way down at the bottom that you might not otherwise have scrolled to. So I personally am a big fan of using the shuffle mode. We can scroll up and down between patches using this over here just to load them that way. And we have an audition button in case you don't have a keyboard hooked up. So that's a little overview of the mini browser, and we'll continue with more in the next video.